Welcome back to Cable 14's Generation Z. I'm your host, Amanda Pope, and thanks for sticking with us. So right now, we're here, and we're going to be talking about how mentorship can really help your company to thrive. I know when I first started out my company, I was very frustrated because I had an idea and I had a dream, but I didn't know where I could go to get the help. But then I soon realized that there are so many amazing, valuable resources here in Hamilton that can help your company. So right now I'm here with Daniil, and he's the founder of The Winged Bean. And he actually has been receiving mentorship and help from The Forge, and that's based out of McMaster University. So thank you so much for coming on the show today. How are you doing? Oh, great. Thank you for having me. Good. I'm happy to have you. And how long have you just been, you've just founded The Winged Bean, you said six months ago? About six months ago we started operations. Yeah. Awesome. And how's everything going with oh, it? Oh, great. I mean, we've, we've had a lot of uh, early success and uh, learning and growing along the way. That's kind of been the, yeah. the, the game so far. And that's what you do at the beginning. The entire process of starting a business and growing a company is learning from your mistakes and growing from them. So the wing bean, that's what you do. That's what you're running. Can you explain what the wing bean is? Sure, absolutely. So what we are is that we are a, basically a food subscription. So we cook and deliver a whole week's worth of meals for people who don't have the time or maybe the energy to do so themselves after a busy day. So basically we prepare a whole week of meals. You don't need to do any cooking, any shopping, any chopping. We deliver it straight to your door. Just warm it up for a few minutes and enjoy. We kind of marry the healthy eating and the convenience together. Wow, and I think that's really great because just a side note, we're going to be talking about mentorship today, but with your business specifically, I think it's such a wonderful idea because even for myself, I've started to develop a dairy allergy. And I found when I started to realize that I can't eat dairy anymore, it really does change your lifestyle and what you're eating and what you're putting into your food. So it's frustrating because you don't know what to do, what to make, what should be in your food and what shouldn't be in your food. So I think your business is a really great idea because people who have allergies or know how great it is to live on a plant-based diet, they know that they're getting what they want. Right. Oh, yeah, abso so. absolutely. Yeah. So for us, uh, our my co-founder and my girlfriend, she actually has developed Crohn's disease. OK. So over that term of, you know, being in the hospital and whatnot, a big recovery step for her was switching to a plant based diet. Yeah. You know, from then she brought me on and the amount of people, uh, you know, our friends and family and even our customers, the health results that we have seen have been uh, really quite terrific. And it's been amazing hearing some of the feedback on how better people feel just kind of following that diet, you know. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's been it's been quite a miracle for us. Yeah, that's awesome. And you've been saying that you've already seen a lot of great success over the past six months of running your business. So when was it that moment in time when you realized that I have this idea, I have this dream and I need help. I need some mentorship. When did you realize that you wanted to go to the Forge? Right, absolutely. Well, this was right out the door. Uh, I mean, we, we started with the realization that, you know, when I open my fridge, I see ingredients. I don't see prepared food. What do I do? And I had the idea, we, we had uh, the idea on how to create this. We had no idea how to implement this in the real world. So right off the bat, uh, I went to McMaster University events for the Forge specifically. I got connected with their uh, accelerator. Uh, entrepreneurship accelerator program mm -hmm. and from there on we learn about innovation factory about uh, the Hamilton business services that yep. help you out so this was all through the forge and right off the bat I mean at the beginning I didn't know the first thing about the first thing and uh, we went in their direction that's awesome and that's the thing you don't realize how much help there is out there especially in Hamilton there are so many companies there's so many different initiatives that can help you so how have you found that the forge has helped you with starting your business and growing it what do they provide for you and how is that benefiting you mm -hmm. yeah so absolutely right off the bat we were given uh, basically mentorship in well, where do we go from here, right? We have this idea. They walked us through and given us multiple um, advices and classes that were provided through Innovation Factory, who they're paired up with. Basically developing the business model, developing everything to do with the sales and the marketing. Uh, the Forge also has provided overtime space for us. And just being around you know, that environment of other entrepreneurs, of people developing their companies, working on technologies, you know, we have 
uh, people out there building a satellite and just sitting next wow. to them and kind of you know congregating in this one it's lab inspiring. of ideas. Absolutely, yeah, and it's been it's been really quite motivating just you know sitting around people that you know are are moving the future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And one last question I have for you: What is your advice for entrepreneurs on navigating where they should go for mentorship and knowing who the right person or the right company is to help them? Right. I would uh, absolutely, honestly, every single thing in our business started with a simple Google search. Mm -hmm. And from there is just identifying what is it that we need right now. If we were to just do one thing, what would it be? Right off the bat, it was one thing. Well, we need somebody to help us. So we went to the Forge. They directed us to mentors from there and there. And I mean, we have had help all over the board from business developers to marketing professionals. And I would suggest that your first search just begins with what do you need right now? Is it to basically have support and help on, on where to begin with. Is it the sales and the marketing that you misunderstand? Mm -hmm. And search for workshops and maybe places in your area just to meet with like-minded people. You need that support, especially early on in the business. Yeah, I think you are so right. That's the key point right there is knowing that it's okay to need help. And as an entrepreneur, if you're starting out in your business or you've been running your company for six months like you have been, it's important to know that there's a lot of help out there. And when you get that help, you really will thrive with your company. So thank you so much for coming on the show today. I really do feel that the advice you've given in your story in general is very inspiring for those who are thinking about starting a company and looking for mentorship. So I hope you enjoyed today's show and that you got a lot out of what we were talking about, whether it's seeking mentorship for starting and growing your company, not allowing your age to limit you, and how to avoid failure as a startup. I hope that you take all that advice into play and hopefully it can help you with starting and growing your company as well. So we hope that we see you soon on the show. and. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email or you can ask questions about mentorship with the wig bean as well. So thank you and have a great day.